Hello, hello, and welcome to another flower design. You may be here on YouTube with me. You may be here in the DIY flower designer community in Facebook, wherever you're tuning in from. I just wanted to come on and say welcome. Today, we're gonna do this really fun little farm type basket. It's got a bee theme. As you can see, I got little bees. They're so cute, you guys, summertime. It's a great time to do something a little fun. So this is a little farm basket. This is gonna be a foam free design. So I've got these little guys in here, little tiny jars full of water. And if you were gonna deliver this, let's say you were a florist and you were gonna deliver this out, I would actually put cellophane around the little jars, but I'm not gonna deliver this. This is gonna just be kind of around our house. Um, for flowers for us to enjoy. And so basically what I'm gonna do is make little flower arrangements just into this vase. We're doing all flowers. We're not gonna do any greens, okay? This is gonna be, when we go all flowers, it's a little bit more expensive. It's kind of more of an elevated look. If you were wanting to keep the cost down on this, you could absolutely put greens in here to keep the cost down. Um, but I just wanted to be a little bit e extra today and do some fun flowers. So what we got here is I've got these really cute, little carnations, and we're just gonna kind of flow them out. These vases are pretty short, so we're gonna do them just tall enough for them to kind of peek over the edge here. This is gonna be really sim simple, simple flowers, um, but it's gonna be super cute when we're all done, okay? And we're gonna have some wine flowers in there too, just to create interest. So it's gonna fill up pretty quick and be pretty simplistic but gorgeous. If you were DIYing like a, a wedding, this could be a really cute centerpiece, would be great on a food table, those kinds of things. So we're just kind of putting a little bit of carnations in there just to kind of create a little filler and some interest. So I'm doing one on each side and then we're gonna put some other fun things in here. I think I'm gonna cut some of these just a tiny bit taller maybe. Don't want them to be too short. We definitely want them to poke over the top here a little bit. Okay, the next thing we're going to add, I'm in love with these toffee roses, you guys. They are absolutely beautiful. Um, these ones are so fun, and I love the light color that they have on them. They're just gorgeous. So we're going to pop these guys in. You can hear my kiddos in the background. Everyone's still home for summer vacay, you guys. A couple more weeks before my kiddos are in school. So you may hear those little, little kiddos in the background. And some of these toffee roses, I would say, are pretty blown, you guys, but they are so gorgeous when they're this open. Um, I might be a little bit careful if I was using them this blown for a wedding, but they're gonna be okay here. They're just gonna go hang out in my house and in my little pink room, you guys, that I have where I go and set all my flowers and kind of, it's kind of my little pretty space in the house. I'll post a picture sometime on my uh, feed here so you guys can kind of see it. Um, yeah, so it's got my little pink couch in there. It's kind of my little place where I go think up ideas and all the fun stuff. Every mom needs a place like that in their house, right? Where all their beautiful things live. That's kind of what it's kind of like. So really pretty. We're just keeping it real simple. I put a flower preservative in these, so it is going to help them last as long as they can. And then I would definitely finish these with Crowning Glory. That's my absolute favorite. Crowning Glory is amazing. I am just cleaning these up. So a big part of flower design, you guys, I would say 80% of flower design is just cleaning up flowers. So make sure there's no greens going into the thing. Make sure there's nothing, if the, the things are a little bit icky, we're just gonna pull those off so that we just see a really nice, pretty beautiful flower. Aren't those gorgeous moms? I love these. They're kind of a chocolate color. I call this arrangement, it's kind of like, um, summer meets fall or fall and we're kind of going into the fall season pretty quickly here and I think that we kind of see that happen with flowers before it actually happens in seasons we'll start to see it come out in flowers and when I saw these little moms I was like "Ooh, fall's coming you guys these just have that gorgeous I love how dark and gorgeous they are and they add such a gorgeous like chocolate interest kind of to these lighter peach and coffee type colors. It's like a coffee and cream arrangement kind of. So pretty. We're just gonna kind of fill it up, make really pretty. It's gonna be about three bunches of mums. We've got three roses in here and we've got some little mini carns. That's kind of what's going down. 
They're so simple, but so gorgeous. Those little guys might get stuck in here to kind of fill things up. Oh my gosh, these mums are so pretty in here. I love when a flower arrangement surprises me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's cuter than I thought it was gonna be. Then we've got these really cool white larkspur, which I love. These are creating a really pretty um, interest. And I'm just kind of cleaning them up a little bit. And we'll just use the little tops here to kind of create a little bit taller. And we'll kind of do some on this side and some on that side and kind of work our way down. These are gonna be just beautiful in here. I love that, it's coming together. This would be a great centerpiece, I'm gonna tell you why, because people could easily talk over this. Sometimes you go in and get those huge centerpieces, you gotta make sure there's like a visual so people can talk through the table. This would be a great way if you did a lower centerpiece where people could easily talk over the flowers. This would be cute on like a food table or a cake table. This would be a really cute little arrangement. It would also be a great kitchen arrangement, you know? Keep it and just kind of change out the flowers every week. There's a, I don't have a ton of home decor, you guys, in my house. We have a lot more plants and flowers and that kind of thing. It's just kind of fun. Flowers just have such a vibe to them. It creates happiness in the home when there's a nice, you know, gorgeous thing of flowers in the house. So that's one of my very favorite things, you guys. Flowers just make me smile. I love the creativity of getting to do all of that. And look at, if you can look down below, you're gonna see a huge mess because flowers are messy, you guys. It kind of looks like chopped salad over here. <laughs> They're so pretty, but these cards are just gorgeous, you guys. They're so cute. And cards get kind of a bad rap, you guys, but cards got a lot of different fun colors. So kind of, if you're like looking out for different Flower colors. Cards have got, they've, they've come up lately. They've got a lot more fun, funky colors that kind of make them fun. And they last forever, you guys. So we're talking like two weeks at least on these guys. The moms will last two weeks too. So this arrangement, the things that won't last will be the roses and this larkspur here, but everything else is gonna last a long time in here. I'm just kind of putting these cards in as a grouping. Just kind of makes it pretty just get the groupings in there it fills it up nicely and it makes it really pretty I'm gonna shove it right in there I love when you can kind of create a line and they can kind of group it away so it connects the arrangement that's something to really think about when you're doing flower design is how your flower arrangement is going to connect you want it to flow especially when you have a lot of one flower somewhere you want to make sure it's going to flow well on both sides yeah, but look at how happy this is. This is the cutest little arrangement. It's super happy. The roses are gorgeous. And I'm gonna kind of put it up a little closer so you can just kind of see. Isn't that just so sweet? So gorgeous. And then on the back of it, look it. So pretty, okay? It's a cute little farm box. Isn't that adorable? You could add ribbon to this. You could do whatever you wanted with this arrangement. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you're on YouTube, you can go ahead, like, share, and subscribe. If you're on the DIY Flower Designer community, thank you for being a part of the DIY Flower Designers. I'm so glad, so glad you're here. I hope you guys all have a beautiful flowery day, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.